so you want to start freelancing but you have no idea what skill to offer now many of the success stories that you've read online all say yes i've always known that i was this or i had some capacity in this so i just naturally went into this you hear i've always known i've been a writer so i just went naturally with writing for my freelancing another person will say i've always had eyes for design and because you don't really know what you are very good at yet but you know you want to get started from somewhere and not just get started from somewhere you want to make money you want to get started with a skill that can actually make you money and a skill that you don't have to be fighting ai every day to keep your job so today i am going to discuss eight hot freelancing like when i mean hot high in demand freelancing skills for you to start out with so grab your pen grab your paper let's do this <laughs> you can earn 40 dollar per hour as a prompt engineer now that's crazy right this is the world of ai currently and people are scared that ai is going to take their job but in reality, AI is providing more jobs in a way. The only thing is some of the old jobs are going to be outdated, but there are new creative jobs that AI is bringing to us. And one of them is prompt engineering. I went through Upwork and then I realized that the least freelancing rate for prompt engineers on the platform is $40 per hour. Now this is huge. And for a world that thinks AI is displacing people, this is actually a, a big thing. So prompt engineering is one of the most in-demand skills in today's world because generative AI cannot work without proper human input. So you can learn prompt engineering from YouTube. There are courses, there are free courses on online that you can learn prompt engineering for. And you should actually check it out. It is a big opportunity for everyone. talk web development and mobile app development now many businesses are going online right now like most businesses that are very successful physically because we are in the world of internet right now and what does this mean it means that within the next two to three years web development and mobile app development are going to be in high demand because i mean if they are moving online they need a website they need a mobile app and most times they don't do these things themselves. Yes, maybe there are AI tools that are going to help them, but they need you, they need humans to actually build something for them. And this is the work of tech. Now, I mean, it's no new knowledge that tech is the current or human in town. And this is it. So you can look at Code Academy, Free Code Cam. Udemy and other course platforms. You can learn coding and uh, web development and mobile app development here on YouTube and all these other course sites. There is high demand, like high demand. And guess what? There is a huge pay for tech people. Like tech people are making money. They are making money. So if you can handle tech, then go for this. Did you know that there was a security breach on ChatGPT? Yes, after ChatGPT Plus came out, there was this high security breach where they took the hackers took the payment details of the ChatGPT Plus members. Like we are living in a time where data and security breaches are common. Like it's becoming increasingly difficult to maintain some level of security online. And many both websites, both uh, companies are looking for cybersecurity experts. So the next skill that is high in demand currently is cybersecurity. Every detail is online, like, and because more these companies are requiring more data from us to serve us better, to make better recommendations so that you can buy their products and their services. And what this means is that hackers will always find their way. Once they see that a company is selling high, they are going right into it. And you can learn this from Udacity and from other platforms online. Just a quick break. If this is your first time on this channel, hello, nice to meet you. Hey, I'm goodness. <laughs> and I love having you here. Thank you for listening to me. And if you're already an old member, thank you for coming here back again. So for new members, please don't forget to subscribe and share. Hit on the subscribe and the like button because there is a lot that is coming your way. Okay, guys.
let's continue the next skill that we are talking about is content creation yeah i know i know i know content creation content creation just seems like everyone is getting into content creation but the truth is content creation economy is huge what does this mean people are looking for content creators the businesses around you they want to go online they want to have a social media presence so in times like this they are looking for someone that has some level of idea on how to create content there is both written content and video content how to generate content how to write scripts for their youtube channel how to write scripts for you know maybe their instagram shots and youtube TikTok videos so the content creation economy it's on the high rise then where is the best place to learn content creation when it's on the platform that you are on right now the biggest content creation platform and that is youtube so if content creation is like a thing you're interested in, if you know how to handle the camera, you know how to take really cool pictures, you know how to write anything. Because people are looking for ghostwriters too, full of things that these people can handle themselves. And they will need you to come in. So you can ghostwrite their Twitter post or ghostwrite their LinkedIn post or their articles on any platform. So if content creation is your thing, browse content creation economy and just go learn it not just about you doing it for people you can also learn content creation just for yourself yes i mean it's also a big deal so you should do that if you are interested in building your personal brand online so i took a moment to check out blockchain development jobs and you can't believe what i saw like there are lots of them there are lots of them cryptocurrencies and smart contracts and decentralized economy is on the rise the world is heading towards the whole smart contracts ethereum whatever that is so i'm not the biggest blockchain expert i've had a lot of whispers over the years of being online as a freelancer that i can confidently tell you that blockchain is a thing that is continuing i've written a lot of articles on blockchain too for clients and Whenever I come across that topic, there is just some futuristic elements about blockchain that kind of provides the proof that blockchain is going to be here for a while, at least for the next couple of years. And to establish that point, I went to check blockchain development jobs, and there are lots of them. But if this is your thing, you should go ahead and research what it requires from you and where you can learn them and start from. If I discuss every other thing and I don't mention digital marketing, I have talked about nothing. Okay, now this doesn't take away the fact that the points that I've mentioned earlier are actually big. But you see, digital marketing, ah, 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 ah. it is a huge market. Digital marketing is like a compound word, it comprises of a lot of things. There is social media marketing under it, there is SEO there is ppc and, and there is a uh, email marketing too like i mentioned earlier the world is heading towards online business full-time online business like it is what the world is going to right now businesses are going to be competing against each other yes, there will be collaborations there will be this there will be that but a lot of businesses are going to want their own share of the pie you can't get your own share of the pie without proper marketing uh, strategies put in place. You can learn the whole digital marketing, but I would actually advise that you start from somewhere. You can pick social media marketing, SEO, you can pick advertising, you can pick, you know, I call all of those things and see which one that speaks most to you. But one thing I will have to tell you is digital marketing is big. And it's not just for you as a freelancer, even as a business owner too you might need that knowledge and you might want to help yourself for a while before you get to hire people so yes a digital marketing is a high in demand skill in today's world and you should check it out <laughs> guys video editing video editing and animation like it is a huge factor in today's world actually yeah i know many of us do not think that but Many companies are looking for people to help them create narratives. 
many companies are looking for people to help them create visual messages so it's not just about editing videos maybe shoot a youtube video and edit it yes that is also part of it and believe me these people are making money but <clears throat> this video editing has a lot of things under it including this whole animation thing so it is a big field it is a big field because video content is on the rise channels these days are looking at video content i mean look at tiktok look at instagram look at youtube even twitter has some video content on it although it's majorly text heavy but the thing is people are looking for video editors if you go on fiverr you will realize that video editors are earning much on the platform like they are getting a lot of jobs so it's not just about earning much because if you're seeing a lot of jobs that means that there is a lot of people looking for this skill there is a lot of people that want this to be done for them okay so video editing animation graphic designing is also under that logo and i know canva i know canva is here i know many people are like yes i can use canva to do anything but in reality companies i mean real companies not just individuals are also looking for people that can help them create true visual narratives because Sometimes AI cannot help with crafting those messages. Maybe they, they are very good at, you know, bringing images. But it takes a creative mind to tell a story with visuals. Let's talk about lead generation. Yes, I know this is not what you get to hear often as a freelancing skill. But it's actually on the high rise because as businesses are going online, some of them need leads, some of them need clients. All these solopreneurs that are currently going online, looking to create courses, looking to create books, looking to create webinars and all that, they are actually looking for someone to help them generate leads. Because most times, they are just really good at what they do. Yes, they are good at whatever it is that they are teaching, whatever course it is that they are creating. But they don't, they don't know the other parts of building a business like this. And that is where you as a freelancer come in. Lead generation. For lead generation, you may have to read books. I really love books written by Rosa Bronson and Alex Hamozi. They're going to help you in knowing how to generate leads. Aside the books too, you should also, also check out some videos online and some courses on Udemy or Coursera or HubSpot Marketing. Lead generation is big and it's going to continue being big because businesses are looking for clients real estate businesses are looking for leads most of the businesses that you can think about are looking for leads and if you can help them get this they are going to thank you very well with money <laughs> i love money right oh good i do i, do. I agree i do love money <laughs> I just told you are high in demand skills that will help you get started from somewhere and something that AI has got nothing on this period. Now one thing you need to know about this high in demand skill is every business wants to grow, every business wants to scale. So they are not just looking for these skills but they are looking for these skills because they will help them scale their businesses, they will help them grow their businesses in a way they never actually thought about. So as you're learning, remember you're not just learning them as a skill, but you're learning them because you want to add value to your clients. Okay, I know your next question is goodness. Okay, so fine, I'm going to learn this skill. How am I going to get clients? That is why you should subscribe, put your notifications on, and stay in tune because the next video is going to be on how to find your freelancing clients, how to get your first freelance clients. So you should be on the lookout for that. And just in case you're looking to make money online, but you don't know whether you want to do freelancing or whatever else that you want to do, I have a free book. It is totally free for you. And you'll find it in the description or in the comment section, how to make money online as a beginner. Just click on the link and grab it. It is for free. Okay, guys, see you in the next video. Okay. <laughs> I love a lot. Yeah.